Howdy everyone, welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. Today, we are going to move past the deadline and hopefully see some moves, at least for our team. I mean, we're already doing pretty good. We don't need to get, like, better, better, but it would just be nice to see some maneuvers going on, if you know what I mean. So let's sim up to the next game, which will, in fact, get us past the trade deadline. We have a conversation with our coach. What is going on? Am I, uh, in trouble, officer? Okay, so, yeah, the, oh, pff, obviously I knew that one wasn't going to be achievable, so, yeah, I'm not upset here, but more so questioning why the coach is giving me these challenges to begin with. Like, what are we thinking out there? Okay, so, the deadline should be, pa this is taking a while. Ooh, we got a, a trait point. Let's do it. Where shall I allocate it? No. Poi- oh, poise would be nice, but yeah, I guess you need two for that. Uh, recovery's pretty good. What else do we got here? Agility, aggressiveness, vision. I'm gonna- you know what? I'm gonna do recovery. Yeah, let's do recovery. Boom, purchase that trait. Get that up to 81. And as a matter of fact, there's one other thing I wanted to do. Two other things I wanted to do. Abilities. I didn't know I had this, but apparently I've had it for a while. We have an X Factor. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got all or nothing. Exceptional range, accuracy, and recovery when poke checking. And, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's pretty decent, I suppose. We can't add any abilities yet because we haven't unlocked anything else. So, that's unfortunate. Inactive. Okay, so X-Ray. Um, uh, there's some other stuff we gotta do. Social media, hotshot. You must complete social media hotshot part one. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, so a lot of these are social media hotshot. Trigger this storyline. You must, or to trigger this storyline, you must achieve one of the following goals by the end of the season. Have a high teammate like ability rating or have a high brand like ability. Okay. Well, our teammates getting up there. We're almost at 2K, which isn't bad. And salary perks as well. I don't want to buy ones that... Give me a minus, so I'm gonna buy this, uh, actually this one gives me plus two to recovery, so let's buy that one. I can still afford this one, yes I can. Uh, that one gives me a minus, alright, so I'm gonna buy this old Smobily, <laughs> old Smobile, and we should be good there. Gives us a bunch of stat boosts, and they are permanent, so that is huge. I'm not gonna buy anything else yet, mostly because I can't afford anything, and the stuff I can't afford... It doesn't last forever, so I have to keep renewing it. Not that that's a big deal or anything. Um, there we go. There's another one, actually. So, yeah, small gym. 65k, and it lasts forever. So there you have it. Nice. That gives us a boost up to 74. Pretty decent. We are now past the trade deadline. So, let us view the lines. Has anything changed here dramatically? No, not at all. We did not make any moves, I don't think. Team looks about the same. On defense... Oh, Giordano! He wasn't there before, I'm pretty sure. So we acquired a new defenseman. I'm happy about that. That is huge for me. And then we still got Mike Smith and uh, TJ Annette. Okay, so there we go. We acquired Mark Giordano for this cup run. And that's about it, it looks like. So let's sim some games here and try to... This is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Wrong menu. Sim the game. They are doing well. They're second in the league. That's Is that going to be another one, really? Or am I being trolled? Oh, it is another one. All right, what should we do? Five hole. Uh, stick low would be good. Angles and breakaway. That's pretty solid as well. Hmm. Where should we go? You know what? I'm going to give this one division. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That works out. We won that game? I'm not really sure. We won that one for uh, for guaranteed, for positive. I just didn't want to say sure again, but it was too late. I already committed to the sentence, and I'm pretty sure there's only one solid way I could finish that. So we're in against the Sharks, who are doing pretty well. Let's see how it goes. So simulate. Yes, please. We have an 892. We're getting close to the 900. Well, that just... Okay. I'm just going to sim right through this one. That's not even worth it. Thank you for that. Just improved my goalie. Got an X-Factor. 
put on some trade points, bought some perks, and we get lit up like a Christmas tree. Battle of Alberta. We have 36 Ws right now. They have 37. And I believe that was an overtime loss. Not really paying attention to anything other than the W category. So all I know is that it wasn't a win. And we have the Yotes. 25, 35, and 5. They are second last in the league, which is good news for me, hopefully. We're at an 886, so we've dropped just from that last game alone. Kind of saw that coming. Here we go. Let's make this a good one. Yeah, that's a solid start. Nice. Yeah, we'll jump in. I'm already shown there as an X Factor. Great stuff. I have, oh, I forgot about the win three of the next five, so right now we're one and one. So I need to basically go two, well, I can afford to lose one more, I believe. And then after that, it's got to be W's. But I'm hoping it doesn't even get to that. Let's try to go three and one instead of three and two. Get the challenge over with quicker. Goss Despair up to Dezingo. It probably doesn't even work that way either. Like, you probably play the fourth game, and even if you already have three wins, you're going to have to wait for the fifth game for the cutscene thing to actually trigger. That would be my guess. Very low-scoring game. Only one nothing here in the third period. The shots weren't really out of control either. It was, I guess, sort of a defensive game. I'll come out to play that and just quickly dish that off to you. There we go. Free team play, baby. I mean, it's not really free. It doesn't cost me anything, but it is a little bit dangerous, so I guess the price is risk. <laughs> Schmaltz gets leveled against the boards, and Nurse will come in to pass the puck in the middle. We bank it off our own player skate, and somehow it works out. Yamamoto up the ice in the wing, and he loses it in the corner there after being nudged off the puck. So Arizona is right back the other way now. Win that battle. We're not going to do it. That was a scary shot attempt. Back at the point. Blocker that. And don't you dare bury. Why do they love doing that? It's like their favorite thing to do. Just play around with the puck right in front of the net. How about we stop that immediately? Here's Fisher. Glove. Oh, that's not gloved. I thought I had it in the mitten. So I didn't try or bother trying to smother it. Turns out I did not in fact have the puck. <laughs> and luckily... Didn't go in either. It did end up sliding across, which was dangerous. But their player wasn't able to get to it on time. Boyd gonna rip a shot just wide of the net. And we will get possession of it. And break up the ice. Dreisaitl spinning back. And dishes it off to Fogel, who's now in. He passes it over to Bouchard. Oh, that would have been a clean play if that got through. But their team broke it up. Boyd hit right in front of his own bench. Nice pass to Ryan. Oh, he was trying to get cheeky with it there. But yeah, one, two, three, four remaining in the third period. And so far, so good. An insurance marker would be appreciated. That's all I'm going to say. And Fogel is trying to get it for us. Cassian takes a shot that had no potential of going through. They have Hutton in net. He will put that in the mitten. I really like his helmet. The purple cage too. Elite. Oh yeah, that is sick. The pads... And the glove blocker combo could be a little bit better, in my humble, honest opinion. But the mask is unbelievable. What a hit. There you go, Barry. Nice step up. I haven't seen Giordano yet, I don't think. Is he injured or something? Maybe. Hyman goes to take a shot. And another save under halfway through. Wait, no. We're over halfway through this third period now. Yeah, that is the proper way to say it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, short side again. These guys love their short side. Ah, no! What happened to my X Factor? I poke checked and then he wouldn't budge. Oh, man. And what is that fan in the front doing? Did you see that? This guy down here? He was moving at like one frame a second. That's unfortunate. That is my fault. I'm gonna just take full responsibility for that one. Game is tied now, sadly. Oh, that could have been my first shutout, too. Very unfortunate. It's all right. We'll get it back. Doilers are sick. And here comes Fisher again. Passes it to Goss Despair. Oh no. He's going to rip one and I will save that in the glove. Dish it off to Barry. Let's go boys. Get that one back for me. That was my bad. But you guys can do it. Nice try. We almost had it. Kraus who actually... This is going to be so late by the time this uh, video comes out. But just got a hat trick. And of course... For some reason, the guy I'm playing in Fantasy had him. It was Monday, so the first game of the week. 
And the dude gets a hat trick. So pretty much GG already. <laughs> no chance I'm coming back from that one. Ooh, another lockout attempt there. But a good save from TJ. No, not again. Thank you. Huge poke check. That was unbelievable. Oh, man. They are all over us at the moment. Did I give them momentum? Was that me? <laughs> By letting them score? Here we go, Barry. Nice pass. We should... I just... I really want Dreisaitl and McDavid to be on one line. I wish I could edit the lines. <laughs> Actually, no. That's probably a bad idea. For me to edit the lines. Not to put Dreisaitl and McDavid on the same line. Alright. We have... Five to go. 1-1 one, one hockey game. And we were being dominated for a minute there. It seems like we're kind of evening it up here. A big hit by Dreisaitl. And now Nuge is in and he's going to get labeled against the boards. Alright, very physical. This game is starting to pick up in the physicality department. Schmaltz. Over to Keller. Oh, dude. He just destroyed me. He had me beat so bad there. And I got big time lucky with our defense. Where is it? Don't like this. Schmaltz. Woohoo. Pass that over to you, Bouchard. That was a risky move, but it was the move. Because here we go. McDavid has it. Scores! He actually scored! Do I get an apple for that? I don't think I do, no, because that was two passes. Oh, he's gassed. His eyes were wide open. Hutton almost came over to, like, celebrate with us. What, oh, we got the X-Factor on. The wheels! Two goals in a game. See you later, and boom! Buries it. We have the lead again. That's nice. It kind of sounded like the announcer guy just called him Connor Mock David. <laughs> like he's a he's a fake or something. You know? He's not the real guy. He's a ripoff. Okay, that was scary. Last minute of play. We now have the lead. Their goalie is going to be coming out in the near future. Unless McDavid! Oh yeah, there it is. Now we have the insurance marker. They came in, took a shot low. And with the ability, net crasher Evander Kane went hard in the yard and buried it. Boom, and yeah, tucks it home. Goalie didn't have a chance on that rebound. Is that... Okay, you know what? No, screw that. I'm more confident. When I was Tino Mania, yeah, I would say the game isn't over yet because I could absolutely let in two goals. TJ would never. Absolutely not. We're too good now. We're elite, if you will. Hayton has it. And he gets it in. I think I got a piece of that. Not fully sure, though. Another save off the blocker. And the boys get the puck out. That is huge. 30 seconds left. They swarm Yamamoto. Oh! Nuge steps off the bench and gets hit by a truck. That was a huge hit. And Bouchard gets labeled as well. Big hits going on right now, but that will send us to the power play. And that will also pretty much say GG. I think we can pretty confidently say we have the victory now. Yeah, that's a big save, but it doesn't matter because your team still lost. All right, they pulled their goalie. That was pretty ballsy. So we are still right in front there. Free team play. Pass it back to you. They'll never see it coming. And that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Another win for the Oilers here. And another decent performance from a third star performance for TJ. A 957. 23 shots they ended up having. Just lots of surprise going on there. I was like, huh? Uh? <laughs> Couldn't believe anything. Okay. That was a solid performance then. Comes up clutch. To deliver and lead his team to Thank victory. you. How about that? All right, to the phone McDavid was pretty clutch, too, though. I mean, Mock David. Back, McDusty. Ooh. You know, Jim, when I see our Love when that is green. No! I skipped the segment by accident because I was trying to get out of here. Oh, dude, they're pumping my tires. No, I don't want to take a look at the rest of the night anymore. That is upsetting. Whatever. We're ninth in the league. See if we can beat... No, we cannot. We take an L against the LA Kings. Sim that game. That's a win. Amazing. The Ducks up next, and we are in for this one. What's going on here? Training? Oh, three hours available? I don't think so. You're not getting a break. Glove training. And then movement training? I can't do that. Does that do the whole thing? Oh, I can't. It takes four hours. Okay. Yep. Let's lock that in, baby. 
Okay, hopefully we have another good game here. We're against the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. Our save percentage, 890. We've got to try and bring that back around. That's a solid start. Okay, 1-1 one, one hockey game, heading into three. Ooh, a chance early on, and that will be placed in the oven mitt. Oh no, are they going to get another one? Don't let them walk out. When they get to just walk out freely, that is the... Well, I shouldn't say the scariest thing, but it's definitely up there, you know? Like, if you were to make a, a top five, it's got to be included. Pass that over to you. You're wide open over there, Zach. And we will get the puck out. McDavid gets destroyed again, and no one stands up. That's it. I'm fighting their goalie. I don't care. That guy's done. Gibson, you are finito, my friend. Pass that out again. And I'm following you guys up on this rush. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, never mind. No, I'm not. No, I am not doing that. I am headed right back to my net. I'm going back to minding the net. Okay, now I'll come out. Let's go. Let's go, Gibson. You think you're all that in a bag of Doritos? Don't you dare go in. Imagine that goes off the boards and in the net. And I get scored on because of that. What a joke that would be. Oh, he actually hit me. But I actually hit him. But he actually hit me. But I actually hit him. Oh, I got him again. And then he got me again. <laughs> what the heck? All right, just no dodge. Oh, no. Finally a dodge. And then he dodged me, though. That's not good. Didn't dodge that one, did you? Did you, Gibby? Oh, he dodged that one, though. No! No! <laughs> Our first fight is an L. Gibson got the better of us. By the way, that looks nothing like Gibson. Oh, you hate to see it. That's unfortunate. So I guess Tino Manny was... Awful at saving the puck, but great at beating people up, and wow, I did not stand a chance there. I was about to say that TJ's the exact opposite, but as I go to say that, I get scored on. Once again, I just need to stop saying things, because every time I go to do it, we get scored on. Not the way I envisioned this third period starting. Losing a fight, and getting scored on. Oh no! They got the rebound. It doesn't get through, though. That one almost got through. But Nurse will be there to pick it up. Thought Nuge was going to go into the bench, honestly. I thought he was about to get benched, but he didn't. Barry carrying it up the ice. Two on one. Oh, no way that doesn't go in. Give me a break. We got ripped off there. What a shot, by the way. Yeah, get in the mitt. And pass that out to Nurse. That was an awful idea. All right, I'm getting too confident with those again. I got to chill out. I got to be super sure that no one is around. Because otherwise this happens. And I think I probably just got Nurse in trouble. I mean, it doesn't matter because he's the computer. I don't think the coach is really rating his performance as they are mine. But either way, that could have resulted in a goal, which would have been bad on me. So, yeah, that was a risky one. And it always takes that one. That actually goes in for me to really smarten up. So I'm going to take that as a goal against. Even though it wasn't. Mentally. I'm going to say that it was. So that I can try and smother the puck more. Where is it? Oh, oh, thank you defense again. I was not in good position there. Still saved it though. Got kind of lucky. Now we should be able to break this puck out of the zone. McDub step in the middle to Kane, who takes a shot. He's pretty lethal from that area, so I somewhat expected that to go in. Zegris gets dropped. Oh, but then another massive hit. This is like, I don't know, it's like a lot more physical, it seems. Puck is behind our net, and a huge battle win there for Hyman. Let's try to tie this thing up here, boys. 2-1 right now. And we have so many good chances under our belt, but Gibson is definitely playing up to the challenge. We got a power play inbound, which means free team play and hopefully a free goal. I don't know about the whole goal thing, but the team play is a lot more likely. Who's out there right now? We got Kane on the point. Ryan, Hyman, and Yamamoto. They actually almost scored there. So once again... Not going to doubt this line. They seem to be able to get it done. Let's go. Tie game. In front of the net. Power play. Buried. I don't know why I'm using one word to just describe everything. But the boys are gassed. And I am very thankful. That is a wonderful way to capitalize on this power play. Crash the net. 
and bury the rebound. Huge. So now I just got to not let them score again right away, which easier said than done. Behind the net. That seems to be their favorite place recently. Why do they like going back there so much? There you go. Get a little physical. McDavid. Mock David. <laughs> Ooh, he almost scored too. Not the best shot in the world. But it was, you know, a floater. Could have been tricky. Ooh, that was a high point shot. Could have hit me right in the dome. But no. Managed to get it with, like, my shoulder or something, maybe. Silverberg walks out. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I maybe could have poke checked, but I just thought he was going to do the thing again and destroy me. So I didn't try. The only time I really try to poke check is when they're walking out from behind the net. Ah, oh, that is unfortunate. Well, there goes my save percentage. I thought maybe I had a chance at a 900 this game. But that has been flushed down the toilet real fast here by the Ducks. All right, we got to get another one here, Oilers. Let's tie it up once again. You can do it, Nuge. He's the guy. Oh, he actually almost was the guy. I'll try to get to that, and I'll pass it back that way. Nuge is there to receive it, and it is immediately given up to Getzlav. Got the save off. And Drysaddle will be there to pick up the rebound. We're on a bit of a rush here. Nugent Hopkins stops up, walks in the middle. No way he just did that. If he shot glove side, I think he had a better chance. But maybe he didn't really see that at the time. Or maybe I'm wrong. Raquel. Oh, ho, ho. these guys are real good. They are very good at destroying me for some reason. No other team has gotten this many... Like, intense, up-close chances like that. Not that I can remember, anyway. They somehow know how to pick our defense apart. And they clearly know how to score on me, because they've got two so far in this third period. And there is still a minute 30 left, so they could possibly get another one. Actually, I'm kind of surprised I'm not getting pulled already. What's going on? All right, well, I'll remain in the net for now. We're not tied, are we? No, we're down by one. Okay, last minute of play. Trevor gets a shot off. Saved that one. And they are now trying to pull me. Now they're trying to pull me. This is going to count against me if it goes in, which is the stupidest thing. Okay, I'm officially off. Um, that was not the greatest stats in the world. Not green overall. Terry's just going to score. What are you guys doing out there? Get off, get off, get off, get off. Quick, quick, hustle, hustle. <laughs> All right, we picked off their pass. So that is nice. But it looks like they are going to score again anyway. No. Comtois will miss the net. You got him open right there. What are you doing, guys? McDavid over to... McDavid over to Yamamoto. Yeah, this is an L. Definitely. I don't think I got a 900 save percentage. Because how many shots do they have coming into this? I don't think they would have got enough to get up to 30. So, yeah, I think that's a write-off. But we can bounce back. There's always next game. There's always next episode. And next episode, we might actually get to the playoffs with the amount of games we've been playing. So, that'll be fun. Pretty quick season here. Sure, let's go offside and just waste even more of all of our time. And by all of our time, I mean me. I'm the only one who's having my time wasted here <laughs> because of this. Two seconds left. Barry just takes a... I don't know what that was. Not even a good guess for you. How many shots did they end up with? Whoops. Oh, they had 33! Never mind! Never mind, they did have 33, and I only let in three goals, so I should have a 900 save percentage. If that empty net counts against me, this game sucks. So let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> Show me right now. Uh, this, this is one of those games that how many times have we seen this over the course of the times? year, right? Just a flat Not that performance many. from everyone. And, oh, okay. You know, one thing that has really kind of frustrated me watching these games, especially from this team, have? is you... You want yeah, I got to a 906. somebody step up and bail this team out. But they kind of... The one thing that they do really well is the play as a team. Because if one person's flat, everybody's flat. If <laughs> one person's up, everybody's up. And in this case, I thought the kid was a little flat between the pipes here. And it cost them. But you know what? There was nobody there to bail them out in front Fair. of them. So that was just another Thank you. collective yes. team effort in a losing cause. Does that make sense? Yeah. There'll be a quiz on this later on, by the way. Time for a quick break. We've got much more on the other side. I don't think there's a whole lot I can do right now. I could get a personal photographer, which, no thanks. Right, no, James, I don't want to hear it. You've had your spotlight for this episode. 
Okay. And hairstylist. Tattoos. Shopping spree. Temporary perk. All right. Whoa. Golf club. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So we currently have an 891. And I want to show you guys our stats because I want to try and remember doing that after the um, games have been played for the day. So we are second. Wow. Golden Knights really pulled ahead. <laughs> that sucks. They are now six points up on us in the same amount of games played. Where do we sit in the league? We are eighth. So we're still doing pretty good. How are they ninth in wildcard? That is crazy. And then we have 18th Capitals wildcarding. Okay. So that is the league stats. We already have 82 points from McDavid in a nice amount of games. And then we have 59 and 70 from Kane. Dreisaitl's 56 and 68. Uh, Hyman, 47. Okay, I'll just kind of go through our team quick. And let me check out the goaltenders. Uh, Koskinen, he's an 80 overall. Apparently he played two games. He went one and one, got an 884. I'm out playing Koskinen at least, and a 326. Yeah, Mike Smith is still doing all right though. 903, 279. Okay. So that is the stats. And anything else I want to show you? I don't think so. Should about do it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Hopefully, you're enjoying the series. And I will be seeing you soon.